Elon Musk is currently the second richest man on Earth, and he could well become the first trillionaire too. When he first founded SpaceX, people laughed at his outlandish ideas, and despite receiving numerous loans, he almost went broke more than once. You don't want to miss this. A longtime advocate of Mars exploration, Musk has publicly talked about wanting to build a greenhouse on Mars and even establishing a Mars colony. But where did these visionary ideas come from? Elon Reeve Musk was born on June 28, 1971, in Pretoria, South Africa. Musk had always been a dreamer. As a child, he was often so lost in his daydreams that his parents and doctors ordered a test to check his hearing. Musk's mother, May, is a Canadian supermodel, while his father, Errol, is a wealthy engineer. Elon had a close relationship with his brother, Kimball, and sister, Tosca. But when he turned 10, a big change took place in his family. His parents got a divorce. Around the time of the divorce, Musk developed an interest in computers. The curious kid that he was, he taught himself how to program. And when he was 12, he sold his very first software, a game he created called Blastar. Musk described it as a trivial game, but better than Flappy Bird, and it earned him his first $500. In grade school, Musk was short, shy, and bookish, and he was bullied for several years. At age 17, he moved to Canada to attend university and avoid mandatory military service in South Africa. He obtained his Canadian citizenship, but this was in part because he believed it would make it easier to later obtain American citizenship. In 1992, he left Canada to study business and physics at the University of Pennsylvania. And after finishing his degree, he headed to Stanford University in California to pursue a PhD in energy physics. His move was timed perfectly with the internet boom, however, and wanting to test his luck, he dropped out of college after just two days. While dropping out of Stanford may have seemed like a bad idea to many, Musk saw it differently, and he once famously tweeted, don't confuse schooling with education. I didn't go to Harvard, but the people that work for me did. Would this decision turn out to be a mistake? Today, Musk is best known in space circles for launching SpaceX, a private aerospace design and manufacturing company. But this wasn't his first business venture. It was his third, after Zip2 Corporation and PayPal. Musk launched Zip2 Corporation in 1995 with his brother Kimball. A group of Silicon Valley investors helped to fund the company, which provided online city guides to newspapers like the New York Times and Chicago Tribune. While Zip2 got off the ground, Musk lived in the office and showered at a local YMCA. But the hard work paid off when Compaq bought Zip2 in 1999. The price? A whopping $341 million in cash and stock and through it, Musk earned a nice $22 million. Always looking out for the next big thing, Elon and Kimball used their newly made fortune to found X.com, an online banking company, and about a year later, X.com merged with another company to form PayPal. Musk was named the CEO, but it wouldn't last long, and after starting a fight among the co-founders, he was eventually fired from his position, while en route to Australia for a much-needed vacation. That's the problem with vacations, he once said about his ill-fated trip. Despite no longer being PayPal's CEO, things still worked out for Musk though. eBay bought PayPal in late 2002, and as PayPal's single biggest shareholder, he netted $165 million of the $1.5 billion price eBay paid. Now, Musk finally had enough money to make his wildest dreams come true. Start a private space company. After PayPal was sold to eBay, Musk made around $165 million. While that's certainly an awful lot of money, when it comes to sending rockets in the space, it becomes quite a small budget. At the time, there wasn't much public interest in the idea of going to Mars, but when Musk began his project, Mars Oasis, the idea really ignited in the public imagination. There was just one problem, though. The Mars-bound rocket that Musk needed cost $65 million, which was way over budget. So, what do you do when you want something but it's currently too expensive? You simply make it yourself. 
This idea is what led to the creation of SpaceX. Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, aka SpaceX, was founded with the intention of building spacecraft for commercial space travel. Musk's goal was to make spaceflight cheaper by a factor of 10. But while his ideas sounded interesting, there was a lot of skepticism that he would be successful. After working on it for 18 months, SpaceX unveiled its first spacecraft in 2006. They named it Dragon, reportedly named after the song Puff the Magic Dragon. Puff the Magic Dragon, live by the sea. Which was Musk's jab at critics who said his spaceflight aims were impossible. With the spacecraft ready, it was also time to finish up the first rocket, Falcon 1. Musk wanted it to be the first privately built rocket to make it into orbit. But little did he know, it would take several years before it would be successfully launched. For the next couple of years, the project seemed to be a bit of a failure. Despite gaining sponsorship from the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory and the U.S. Air Force Academy, SpaceX was in the red, having around $100 million of debt. To top this off, in 2006, the Falcon 1 launch failed with the rocket crashing into the ocean. Things were looking bad. And after another failure to launch the Falcon 1, SpaceX was up against the ropes. If the rocket didn't successfully launch on the next attempt, they would have to close down. Although Musk put up a tough front at the time, he has since described 2008 as the worst year of his life. Tesla kept losing money and SpaceX was having trouble launching its Falcon 1 rocket. All in all, the company experienced a steep learning curve on the road to orbit. But while it took four tries to get Falcon 1 flying successfully, by successfully, it eventually did. Then, right around Christmas of 2008, Musk got two more pieces of good news. SpaceX had landed a $1.6 billion contract with NASA to deliver supplies into space, and Tesla finally found more outside investors. While the funding showed that NASA believed in SpaceX's ability to transport cargo supplies into space, there was still a lot of work to do. To get into space with a heavy cargo load, the Dragon spacecraft would require much more rocket power than what Falcon 1 could provide. So, SpaceX began developing a next-generation rocket that was much bigger, Falcon 9. While working on the Falcon 9, SpaceX also made history in 2012 when it launched its Dragon spaceship with an unmanned capsule. The vehicle was sent to the International Space Station, with supplies for the astronauts stationed there, marking the first time a private company had sent a commercial ship cargo to the ISS. Speaking about the launch, Musk said, I feel very lucky. For us, it's like winning the Super Bowl. Around this time, Musk started leading the headlines. His extraordinary career was getting noticed, and people began pegging him as the real-life Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr.'s portrayal of Tony Stark in Iron Man movies is at least partially based on Musk, and Musk himself even had a cameo in Iron Man 2. Hey. Those Merlin engines are fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, good idea for an electric jet. SpaceX's next major project was Starship, a fully reusable launch vehicle. Its destination? Mars. Finally, Elon Musk's dreams were becoming a reality. As the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, Elon Musk is transforming life in space and on Earth. Tesla's stock has surged over the past years, and SpaceX also remains the talk of the town. Valued at over $100 billion, it is currently the second most valuable private company in the world. And although its initial years were grim and many attempts were needed, the company eventually went on to make history by launching its rockets and spacecraft into space. By setting up a reusable rocket and launch system, Musk managed to drastically cut back on the spaceflight costs. And while SpaceX once started out by delivering cargo and satellites into orbit, it has now been launching crewed missions too. In 2020, SpaceX completed the first crewed mission when a test flight sent NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley to the ISS. Half a year later, this impressive feat was followed by the launch of a crew of four astronauts for a six-month stay in space. While Jeff Bezos has since caught up with his Blue Origin company, at the time, SpaceX was the sole commercial spaceflight firm, 
that had the capacity for delivering astronauts to space. And the futuristic Starship? Well, after four failed test flights, SpaceX finally launched and successfully landed its Starship on May 5, 2021. The rocket flew as high as 10 kilometers, or about 33,000 feet, and seeing the perfect landing of the rocket ship that Elon Musk wants to use to land astronauts on the moon and send people to Mars was definitely a sight to behold. The question remains, when will it actually happen? This was the story of SpaceX. While the company was anything but an overnight success, its visionary founders and investors have played an incredible role in helping it become the billion-dollar company that it is today. Of course, SpaceX is just a piece of the pie for Musk, and over the past five decades, he's become the CEO of both Tesla and SpaceX, founder of The Boring Company and co-founder of OpenAI and Neuralink, all while focused on his long-term goal, escaping Earth and colonizing Mars. Do you also have dreams of going to outer space someday? Share it in the comments and let us know which details you would like to add to this story. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you'd like to learn more about Musk's endeavors with his Tesla company, then check out that video too.